Hey everyone, I have some uh, little um, testers here with me today and we're going to do a little science experiment, sort of. So we have um, our we have our new Brilliance pan here. I'm going to have to turn the camera around so you guys can see everything here. We have our new um, gorgeous Brilliance pan. We have our stainless, that's a bigger one and obviously very used. And this is a new 8 inch pan, um, the nonstick stainless. This is the 10 inch nonstick stainless, so it's comparable in size to this 10 inch dollar store pan. Um, so you guys are going to feel the bottom of each pan. Does it feel, what does it feel like? Kind of like room temperature, right? Now, okay, now feel this one. Right, okay, now feel the next one. The brilliance one, feel the bottom of it, the sides. What does it feel like? It, these are on the, they're not they're not like on the stove. They're like, they're on the stove, but they're not like hot or anything. Now what we're gonna do is you guys are each gonna take one ice cube and put one ice cube in, on each pan. You do one. Put one on the pan, just one, Paul. And one more pan in the back there. Okay, now each pan has an ice cube in there, in it, and we're going to watch as these ice cubes melt in the pan, and then we're going to check it after a few minutes. Um, now, some of you guys might be thinking that you are a terrible cook because, you know, your food comes out with, do you think mommy's a terrible cook? Let's interview our first um, interviewee here. Is your mother a good cook or a terrible cook or kind of a medium cook? Medium. Medium? Your mother, don't don't move the pan around, just leave it on there. And we can see that the ice cubes are melting in our pan here. Um, I, again, I brought the, the um, 10 inch so that it's comparable in size to this 10 inch one because the Brilliance pan I have here and the other non, the brand new um, non-stick stainless are both 8 inch. And I don't want anybody being like, oh, it wasn't the same size. So <laughs> that's why I have the other one back there. But you can see that each one is starting to melt. Like they're melting really fast. Um, okay, so now what we're going to do, right? You guys you guys have, what are some of your observations about these pans and what's happening with the ice? Melting. It's melting. Paula, do you have any observations? They're moving. They're moving, kind of moving yeah. as they melt. Yeah, a little bit, but water, not yeah. much. What do you? What's your observation there, sir? No observation at the moment. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is pick up this pan here, feel the sides of it, and now feel the bottom. What do you notice? What do you notice about the pan from when you first touched it before? Colder. It's cold. Is the whole pan cold, or is it only cold in the one spot? Cold here. How about this one? Let's check this one. Feel the sides. Feel underneath. What do you notice about this one? Cold. Is the whole thing cold or is it only cold where the ice cube melted? Cold. How about this one? It's freezing. At this the one is cold. The pans, the Pampered Chef pans, the nonstick stainless, the Brilliance pan, and this other one. They don't need to feel this one because it's like, well, okay, feel this one too. Try not to put this one in the light too much because, you know, it's very used. <laughs> it was used on too high temperature. That's what caused that. So anyway. The Pampered Chef pans are amazing conductors of both heat and cold. So the entire pan now is cold because of this ice cube. This pan that I just picked up this morning from the dollar store is only cold where the ice cube sat on the bottom. Feel the bottom of it again where the ice cube was. Feel how it's much colder where the ice cube was? Mm -hmm. Underneath, on the bottom. <laughs> you can feel it? Okay. You can feel it on the bottom and the sides, and this is why I had the kids come, because, you know, kids don't lie, and I don't want anybody to be watching this and be like, oh, it's a setup, um, because it's not. This pan from the dollar store is, you know, one of those advertised as seen on TV. It's only cold where the ice cube melted on the pan right here. The rest of the pan is still room temperature. The Pampered Chef pans are freezing cold all the way around the entire thing, and the reason for that is because our pans... The Pampered Chef pans are amazing conductors of both heat and cold, which means you're not going to get hot spots while you cook like you would. Because I hear from people all the time like, oh, I got the, um, I, I can get my pan from the dollar store. Well, yeah, you can, but you're going to get crappy results because you get what you pay for. So if you're cooking and you've been, you know, maybe you're um, 
you've been cooking and you get hot spots in your food or, you know, your chicken is like burned on one end and, you know, frozen on the other end. And you're like, oh, my gosh, I'm such a terrible cook. You might not be as bad a cook as you think. And you just need better cookware to work with. Um, what are you what are you observing? We're making some more observations here. My ice is gone. The ice is gone. So, yes, I went out and spent, you know, the $20 on this cheap dollar store pan so that I could show you guys what this is like. Oh, thank you, Michelle. <laughs> um, so that I could show you guys this. And if any of you want to come see it in person, you know, feel free to come on over and I'll show you in person. Because it's really um, an incredible thing when you realize that you are not as bad a cook as you thought. And it's just your crappy cookware is making you look worse than you actually are. <laughs> so... The other thing I hear sometimes is, oh, it's too expensive. I can't, I want one, but I can't get it. Well, hosts, party hosts can always get our cookware at 50% off with just $200 in party sales. That's any month, any month of the year, any, you know, that's it. $200, you can get it for half price. So go and look it up. The new, the new set of the Brilliance cookware is like $375, I think, full price. As a party host, with just $200 in sales, you can get that for half price, which I believe is um, 100 something, 150, 75, something like that. Math is not my thing. Um, anyway, the other way to get the cookware that you need in your house, if you're cooking and you have hot spots and your, you know, your spouse or your children are like, oh my gosh, your food is terrible. Why is it cold here and it's hot over here? Um, you need better cookware. And you can get it free as a consultant. You can earn it free as a consultant also. So those are the two ways that I always tell people to get your cookware. You know, get the bigger items that you want. And I am, you know, very good at my job. I'm good at helping my host get the best possible deals. Um, I'm good at helping my new consultants earn everything they possibly can. And our, um, we're going to turn around one more time here. Our um, ice cubes are completely melted now. Feel the pans. Feel the pans on the side. What do we notice? Cold. Cold. Not so cold. Room temperature. Very cold. Very cold. Right? Right? Do we have any other observations you want to make? No. Is that about it? Is that about right? Yes. And I, I love this little pan too. It's so the, the eight inch pans I think are adorable. And they make wonderful perfect little omelets so um thanks for watching guys and i hope you learned something from this little uh, our little science experiment and have a great day everyone bye